Now for the latest on what the Target 12 investigators are tracking for you, Steph Machado is live in studio with us this Friday. Steph, this week you broke the news of a reported delay in calling to police at a middle school after a staff member thought he saw someone with a gun. But Steph, no weapon was found, but what is the latest on this investigation into all of this? Yeah, so the school district is now looking into exactly what happened. What time was the possible gun spotted? Who was notified of it and when? We already know that police say they were not notified right away, and the timeline in the police report says it was more than an hour before police found out there could be a possible gun sighting. The district has not disputed that timeline by police, and some are calling on the principal to be disciplined or even fired, including Mara Lorza. Right now, Superintendent Javier Montagnier says HR is looking into it, and he says the school district is retraining administrators on emergency protocols. And Steph, some parents were calling for some SROs to be put into the schools. Is that being discussed at all? Well, the superintendent says, you know, there's no decision yet on whether a school resource officer would be placed at Nathaniel Green. The police officers do come by at dismissal. It's an interesting discussion, guys, because for years there's been this debate, uh, this growing movement to remove police officers from schools. You may have heard the slogan counselors, not cops, right? But that uh, seems to be changing in some ways in light of the increased violence and threats. Of course, the latest horrific school shooting in Texas, we're starting to hear more people, including parents, call for SROs to be in schools. As an example, last year, the Providence School Board passed a resolution backing the removal of SROs. Well, now the school board president, Kinzel Thomas, tells me it may be time to revisit that. Providence currently has SROs at four of its 39 schools. Steph, another big story you're tracking in the city of Providence, of course, uh, the city's financial problems. Voters in Providence headed to the polls this Tuesday, by the way, to decide whether the city should borrow $515 million that would be deposited into the pension system. Yeah, this proposal uh, would borrow all of that money to shore up the pension, massive $1 billion unfunded liability. Voters will have a chance to weigh in on this on Tuesday. The General Assembly also has to authorize the bond because it is so much money. That bill has already passed the House. I would expect it to pass the Senate if it gets voter approval next week. We discussed this proposal in depth in our taping of Newsmakers this morning. We invited one guest who is in favor and one guest who is opposed. My colleague Tim White will report on what they had to say coming up in the 5 o'clock hour, guys. All right, we'll look for that. Staff, thanks for joining us today. Of course.